Hello everybody. One thing we did not discuss during the last video is the wild using the wild card. We have two wild cards. If I said directory and then the asterisk, which is everything. So it replaces everything. So it's as if I said directory is exactly the same. So if I said directory anything and then dot jbg that's mean gives me everything which includes a lot of stuff anything here but ends with those four characters which is giving me all those pictures so this is an idea if you would like to find all the pictures in your c drive you can say directory c so that's mean i need c and then asterisk jbg so that's mean give me all the pictures in the c directory now the other wild card is the uh, question mark. Question mark is replacing only one character or uh, digits. So if I said, let's say uh, here you can see img underscore two zero one eight and seven. So I can say here to get the same almost same thing. I said directory, and then img underscore two zero one then question mark so the question mark is replacing the eight or the seven right and then the asterisk that mean it doesn't matter whatever after that so here it give me the same thing so it i can have asterisk i can have the question mark to replace one or many all of the character So now we have all list, a list of all the files and the directories uh, in one sheet in, uh, in this format. So what we will do is to move it in an Excel sheet. So we'll say Control A, Control C, then we'll go into our Excel and then we paste it there. And uh, what I will do is I will just do another copy in the column B. So now what we have in column B is exactly is A. So what I need to do is now in column A, I will get only the file name. If you notice the backslash here, um, then the last one has a file. So if I want to remove everything except the file name or the directory name, I'll say control H and then the wild card which is the asterisk backslash and then replace it with nothing then you have everything is here um, just get them here uh, to the left okay so now I have 583 record of files and of directories what I need to know, do now is to create hyperlink for all of these you can do it one by one, but if you think that you have 500, take a long time. What we will do is do a macro. This macro will create all the links. But what we going to benefit from such thing? And if you have, let's say, you have a lot of pictures in your C drive, you want to see if they are uh, repeated, saved in multiple places, you can uh, get the directory of all the C then strip only the pictures and see which one are duplicated then you can open it if you are doing some engineering work you will have let's say an instrumentation tags or inline instrument or devices or electrical stuff or whatever and then they show up in multiple drawings so if you have those multiple drawings here listed and you created a hyperlink for those drawings then by clicking on the drawing you open the files so if you're doing a quick review for a thousands of the tags uh, you will maybe have to open some of these so it's it will it's a way of getting you quicker an easy way to open those files so let's do one thing now let's do the first one here this is a drawing 
and then we will create a hyperlink for it. The way we do it, we'll just record a micro, micro let's say three, and then I will do a hyperlink. Uh, the hyperlink I will make the hyperlink as normal. This is the file. So now I created the hyperlink. The reason I'm doing it in a macro, recording it, because I don't know how to do it. So I'm just doing a macro to see how the system did it, and then I will repeat it. So I will have in macro 3, edit, this is macro 3 now. And this is the command which is had been done. So all I have to do is repeat this for the rest, but not this way. So what I say for n equal one two five eight three next n. So this is my loop. If you notice that the command has two things, the address and the text to display. Those are only the two items we need. So the address is in column B and the text to display is in column A. So what I do in the beginning I will say A. The reason I'm doing the uh, dollar sign is to make that this is instead of declaring it's a string I'm just saying dollar sign that's mean it's a string. Sheet 1 cells of n and 1. So and this is my text to display uh, B is my pass or the address now I will use the with so with Oh, the first thing is that before that I will do a uh, selection. So the way I'm doing it, sheet one range cells of n and one So the reason I'm doing it is I'm selecting the first uh, cell in the sheet. Then I will do with with selection. I will use the same thing as here. So and up to address quickly. So the address will be B comma text to display should be the A. So it's here the same command, the underscore because it's on two lines. Here we have them on one line and then we will end the with. Uh, I will go with F8, so I will go into only one, and then I will make sure it's it's working perfectly in the first one. Click on it, it will open the folder. So I'm, I'm good to go. I will uh, continue with the uh, rest by just clicking F5 or continue. You can see now. All of them had been created. Click on any one of these. You open the file. Of course, this can be done for anything like PDF. If you have a lot of PDF files, you can do the same. So click on it. It's open. Because this is, is not meant as uh, 
my was macro so now it's as you can see I open any any pictures what those guys so hope you find something useful today and um, if you have any comments please let me know thanks and see you in another video bye bye